Okay, this is pretty interesting integral from Berkeley Math Tournament. The question is the integral from 0 to pi over 2. x over tangent x dx can be written in the form of a to the power of b times pi times l and c, where a, b, c are integers, such that c is as small as possible. Then compute a plus b plus c. So for this question, we will be using integration by parts. So that's why I'll be rewriting this integral. So we are integrating from 0 to pi over 2. And then we can rewrite this as x times cosine x over sine x. And we have dx. So that's why also we can rewrite this as integral from 0 to pi over 2. And then we have x and d of ln sine x. Okay. So let's use the integration by parts and rewrite this as now. Okay. We have x times ln sine x from 0 to pi over 2. And then we have minus integral from 0 to pi over 2. Then we have only ln of sine x and dx. The first part, this is going to be just equal to pi over 2 times ln of 1, which is just equal to 0. So that's why this original integral from 0 to pi over 2, x over tangent x dx is really equal to negative of integral from 0 to pi over 2 ln sine x dx. So that is why we will be focusing on this integral. Okay, then for this integral from 0 to pi over 2, and then we have ln of sine x and dx. First of all, we can use this double angle formula, right? So we can represent this as now from integral from 0 to pi over 2. And then we have ln of, in this case, we can represent the sine x as 2 times sine of x over 2 times cosine of x over 2. Of course, we have dx. Okay. Which means we can separate this into three integrals. So this one is then... First integral is from 0 to pi over 2, and then we have only ln 2 and dx, plus also from 0 to pi over 2. Then we have ln of x sine of x over 2 dx. Lastly, plus integral from 0 to pi over 2. Then we have ln of cosine x over 2. And we have dx. Okay, this is what we have. The first term, the first integral is easy to calculate. This is only going to be equal to pi over 2 times ln 2. Okay, then for both of these two integrals, I'll be using u substitution. So let me say u is equal to x over 2. That means your du is 1 over 2 dx. So that's why your dx is now 2du. Okay, so let's rewrite these two integrals by changing your lower bound and the upper bound. Lower bound seems to be the same as 0. But then again, the upper bound has to be not pi over 2, but pi over 4. Okay, so this integral is, pull this two outside of your integral from 0 to pi over 4. Then we have ln of sine u and du. Then the third integral is now 2 times integral from 0 to pi over 4. Then we have ln of cosine u and du. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'll be focusing on this integral. I want to change this integral based on the sign using co-function identity. So that is why if you take a look at this integral, then using cosine identity, we can rewrite this as now. 2 times integral from 0 to pi over 4. Then we have ln of at this time sine of now pi over 2 minus u and du. This is the time when we can actually substitute this pi over 2 minus u to v, right? Okay, so call v as pi 
over 2 minus u. Then we can rewrite this integral again using v. Okay, then if you rewrite this integral using v, then we will have now 2 times of integral, then we should change this lower bound and the upper bound. Your lower bound has to be then pi over 4, and upper bound has to be pi over 2. Then we have ln of now sine v and dv. So this is the time when we need to switch your v to u and from u to x. So that's why we can rewrite your integral that we are interested in. Now in this case, integral from 0 to pi over 2, and ln of sine x dx. This is simply equal to now pi over 2 times ln 2. Okay, then the second integral is going to be just 2 times integral from 0 to pi over 4, and ln sine x dx. Okay, then the last one, if you switch this to the x, then this is now plus 2 times from pi over 4 to pi over 2, then we have ln of sine x and dx. So that's why what we have on the right hand side, this is the same thing as now pi over 2 times ln 2. Now plus 2 times integrating from 0 to pi over 2. And then we have ln of sine x dx. And this means this integral from 0 to pi over 2, and then ln of sine x and dx. This is just equal to negative pi over 2 times ln 2. This means the original integral from 0 to pi over 2, x over tangent x dx. That is just positive pi over 2 times ln 2. So the answer, integrating from 0 to pi over 2, x over tangent x dx. This is just equal to positive pi over 2 ln 2. So that's why we can represent this as 2 to the power of negative 1 pi times ln 2. Okay. Now this says your a is 2, b is negative 1, and c is 2. So that's why a plus b plus c. This is equal to 2 plus negative 1 plus 2. So that is why we have 3 as the answer for this question. Okay, so pretty interesting integral question from Berkeley Math Tournament. So I'll be back with more videos for more questions like this sometime soon.